Hey everybody, how are you doing? So I'm back with a, another video, just a quick one. I wanted to share this book with y'all. And some of you have probably already read it. I, I hadn't heard about it. I had no idea this book existed. I found it on Amazon late one night, just looking through the used books. It's The Once and Future Goddess, and it is by Eleanor W. Gaydon. It's a sweeping visual chronicle of the sacred female and her reemergence in the cultural mythology of our time. Now, I only paid like a couple of dollars for this. It was used, and it does have some things that somebody else highlighted, but I don't, I don't mind that at all. Um, this starts with Paleolithic times and comes all the way to present day. Now, I'm sure there have been a few, it was published in 1989, so it's been around for a while, and I'm sure there have been a few discoveries that aren't in here, but I don't, I don't mind. Um, I, it's just a wealth of information. I'll read you some of the chapters. It just goes all the way through from like the Earth Mother of Willendor all the way to artists today that are doing um, goddess art. So it touches on just some of the goddesses. Um, the Virgin of Guadalupe, Artemis, the Snake Goddess, the Minoan Snake Goddess, the Maltese Goddess. Um, just there are tons of goddesses in here. And there are nice color pictures. Like, let me show you that. Um, let me see if I can find a really good one. Really good one to show you. See, like, look at this image. So there's some beautiful art in here. So chapter-wise, it covers... What are the chapters in here? Sorry, I could have had it marked for y'all. Um, I just, I really fell in love with this book because I feel like, uh, this is just true for me, it doesn't have to be true for you, I feel like my love for the goddess, I should know as much as possible about the goddess, her past, up into present day, and I enjoy reading about history. Now, it is a smidge dry, just a smidge, because there's a lot of academic information, but I feel like if you're passionate enough about the goddess, you should be able to get through that if you're really, you know, hungry for it. So it starts with the Ice Age. Part one covers the Ice Age, the unfolding of her mysteries, Old Europe, Crete, and then it goes into the patriarchal takeover, um, the taming of the goddess. It talks about um, the descent of Inanna, which I love that story. Demeter's mysteries, the Hebrew goddess. Um, has a chapter talking about whether or not the Virgin Mary is a goddess. Um, it talks about earth-based spirituality, the goddess within, the resurrection of the body, and resacralization of sexuality. That's an important topic. Um, reclaiming her sacred iconography, artists, and prophets. And then just ecological, it ends with ecological wisdom for Gaia on, t on today's planet. Um, I learned so much in here that I did not that I did not know. So I highly recommend this book. And let me read the back of you. Back of you. Let me read the back of this. Goodness, I can't talk. Um, in this beautifully illustrated and far-reaching history, Eleanor Gaydon vividly weaves words and images to demonstrate the powerful connections between ancient and contemporary art, between the goddess of the Ice Age and the goddess of today. This panoramic view of the goddess imagery extends from prehistoric goddess representations of Catal, Hayuk, Malta, Avery, and Crete, to the more patriarchal images of the Sumerians, Greeks, Christians, to the wide range of contemporary artists inspired by the goddess, including Frida Kahlo, Mayumi Oda, and Judy Chicago. And the author is an art historian specializing in Indian art and culture the analysis of images and symbols in their cultural context. So she knows her stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to share this book with y'all. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope if I maybe I piqued someone's interest to read it. And if you do read it, let me know what you think. 
All right. Much love and many blessings. Bye.